Welcome back to another video, everybody. It's like 7 a.m. over here. I just rolled out of bed, but I wanted to get this one out to you. First off, check out this dope ass Michael Jordan painting that my homie painted for me. Isn't that thing sick right there? It goes perfect with the MJ Beckett, and the Space Jam card. But I wanted to get this one out to you guys today. I got a special mail day. Something from overseas. Some basketball cards. U.S. Customs right there. I've been waiting for this one to get here and I'm so excited. Let's go. Welcome everybody. So if this is your first time here, I'm Jason Carver. I'm putting out weekly videos just like this. After you're done watching this video, if you liked it, all you gotta do, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And whatever you do, make sure don't subscribe. There's a lot of sus stuff going on over here. You don't want no part of it. All right, without further ado, let's cut up into this. US Customs, you know it's sketchy. Let's see what we got here. So I ordered this from outside the United States. Oh man, give me a second here. All right, so this is what we we're waiting for. Let's check it out. What do you guys think it is? So it's an NBA product, 2018. It's like $2 a pack right here. And so what we got here is NBA stickers. So this is the overseas edition, not the US edition. The overseas edition, the European edition, gets you a little bit more value right there because it's a little bit more rare over here. I think the reason is it's a lot harder to grade overseas. I've been snagging up as much as I can of these. There's just not much on the market. So if you can find these, you gotta search on eBay for the European edition and you'll know it'll kind of look like this. And then on the back, I believe it says it's made in Italy. All right guys, so this is what we got. I paid uh, just under $100 for everything shipped. And so if you're looking for these for yourself, you wanna get them in the sealed pack. So they also make them, or you'll see sellers selling just individual packs. You want to stay away from those. Get something that's sealed. All right, so this is what we got, everybody. We got five different packs here, and then each one has 10 packs inside, so you get 50 cards. And you can see from up here, and then also on the back here, made in Italy. So this right here is just a low-cost investment. $100 for everything, so we're getting about 500 cards here, we'll say. But if we get a Luca or a Trey graded in a pretty high grade from PSA, then we'll, we'll recoup all of our money right here, especially if we can nab that Luca. So that's what we're doing, everyone. We're searching for Trey and Luca. All right, here we go, everyone. I'm going to try to rip through these pretty quick. I'll do a little editing so it doesn't take too long here. All right, so these are kind of a pain to open here. They're not like a normal pack. And they are gonna stick too. Right, Shabazz Napier, Andre Drummond. And we got DeJounte Murray. He's doing pretty good for the Spurs right now. So we'll kind of separate the cards, separate the stickers, and then we'll separate the rookies. Man, I'm going to I'm have to do a lot of editing here. Emmanuel Munde, Mundier. Trey Burke. And Drew Holiday. The gamble with these is, yeah, they're a great price, but stickers are known for being off-centered, not in good shape, but doing it for you guys. Jamal Murray, pretty nice, right off the top. Nene, Spencer Dinwiddie, Patrick Peterson, yep. And a Jimmy Butler. All right, we've got Julius Randle. Doing pretty good for the Knicks right now. Um, to 
Tobias Harris, John Collins. Damn, ton of these team stickers here. Oh, uh, there we go. Lori Marketin. Little U of A guy. And Mark Gasol. No rookies yet. Sean Livingston on top. Dirk Nowitzki, Michael Green, Jay Crowder, Brett Brown. Is that Chris Stapps right on top? Porzingis, Boban, CJ McCollum, Justin Jackson, and Joel Embiid. Let's go, Trey. Let's go, Luca. Come on. Well, there's a, a Maverick, but not the one we want. Dwight Powell. CD. Kyle Kuz. Aaron Gordon. Nicola. And Mikael Bridges. Mikael's doing pretty good for the Suns right now. I think the Suns are going to make the playoffs here. All right. Got a little Kyrie Irving action. We got Kyrie, Pistons, JJ, Miles Leonard, and Darren Collison. All right, let's heat up now. We got two more packs from this little batch here. Uh, Justice Winslow. Avery Bradley, Alvin Gentry. Pelicans and little Dame Dalla. No rookies yet. I don't. I mean, unless I missed one, I don't think we got any rookies yet. Got Kyle Korver, Brandon Knight, Russell Westbrook. Look, part of an NBA logo. Dragon Bender and Bradley Beal, an elite scorer. All right, so that was one stack down. On to stack number two. Let's go. Let's get some stack number two mojo going here. Jeez. Kevin Love, Stephen Adams, Chris Paul. Steph Curry, nice little Steph. And Jimmy Buckets. All right, Sean Livingston. Bo, Bo John Bogdanovich. Corey Joseph. Tabo. And Marco. All we really need is one Luca in good shape here. That'll pay for this whole thing. All right, there's our first rookie, DeAndre Ayton. Number one pick in the draft from the University of Arizona Wildcats. Yeah, <laughs> I've never heard of this guy. I'm sorry. Uh, Tyler Johnson, CJ McCollum, Nursik, and LeBron James. There we go. Nice. Omari. And this is cool about the European edition. I'm not sure if the U.S. edition does it too, but if they're from overseas, it puts like their flag here. Robert Covington, Victor Oladipo, Marvin Bagley. There we go. Another rookie. That was the number two pick in the draft. The funny thing is DeAndre Ayton and Marvin Bagley actually played at the same high school for one year. Can you imagine the number one and the number two pick playing at the same high school. Can you imagine going up against them in high school? Fuck. Anthony Davis, Eric Gordon, George Hill, Alec Burke, and little DeMar DeRozan. Apologize if you hear some background noise. My daughter just woke up and she's chatting away over there. And Victor Oladipo, the newest Houston Rocket. You guys think he's going to stay in Houston, or is he going to get traded away? 
I heard someone talking about a trade for Victor Oladipo for Michael Porter Jr. Which I think that's a pretty interesting trade. I'm pretty high on Miker, Miker, Michael Porter Jr. So I'd like to see him go somewhere where he's a he can be a star. You know, he's kind of the third wheel on that bench there. Uh, yep, Dwayne Wade, Miles Turner, Jaron Jackson Jr. So there's another rookie. Triple J, yet to play in the season yet, but he should be coming back pretty soon. And there we go, right behind that, Mr. Luca. There we go. Um, so I'm actually not sure how valuable this card is. Pretty cool right there. We're going to sleeve that bad boy up. But there we go. Nice. There we go, Luca. All right, let's see here. TJ Warren, Joel Embiid, head coach, Kevin Durant. And two more packs in this one. All right, Terry Rozier, another Dirk, Andrew Wiggins, head coach, and another Jimmy Buckets. All right, last one of the pack. We got the Luca card. Can we get a tray here? I got one tray. I pulled one last time I opened one of these on the channel. So if you want, you can check out that video. But I didn't get a Luca sticker, and that's what I really want. I think they look pretty cool, pretty clean. Mr. J.R. Smith. Golly. If you're a you know LeBron James fan or Cavs fan, time with 4.7 remaining. Hill misses, rebound goes to the Cavs. J.R. Smith brings it back out, throws it ahead. Hill shot blocked, and will go to overtime. You get the feeling J.R. Smith the thought score. they had the lead. He no. didn't know the score. I think exactly. That's a bad mistake by J.R. Smith. And LeBron James was trying to get a timeout. And LeBron James is wide open on the, at the top when he gets the rebound. And they had a timeout left. Let's watch it again. Great job from Smith to get the rebound, but dribble it away. And Hill could not get off a quality shot. Watch James. Now wanted a timeout. But too late to get it. And five minutes go up on the clock. Overtime here in game one. JR, man. What is you doing, boy? Drew Ronde Hollis Jefferson from the University of Arizona. And we got little James Harden. It's a pretty cool pick. Cool card there. That's two packages down. Three more to go here. Joel Embiid. Having a great year. My goodness. Uh, Chris Dunn. D'Angelo Russell. And then Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo. Man, it seems like we've been getting a lot of him. Bo John. Trey. Cavs. Coach. And Josh Jackson. The newest Laker, Wesley Matthews. Robin Lopez, Sergi Baca, Harkless, that's another one. Head coach and a Kyrie, a Celtics Kyrie. It's Mr. Clay Thompson. Goodness gracious. Clay Thompson, Batum, Nicholas Bat Batum, Batum, that's what it is, Batum. Dirk. Tom Thibodeau, Victor Oladipo, man. Plus or minus 10 on Victor Oladipo cards. Darren Collison. All right, we're about halfway through this one. Denzel Valentine, Jeff Teague, Lori Markkinen. Lori Markkinen a rookie this year? No, he wasn't, no. Head coach. 
Martin Gortat. All right, I feel like this is going to be a good pack right here. Aaron Gordon. Jamichael Green. And I was totally wrong. All right, I feel like this is going to be a good pack right here. I'm just going to say that for every single one, and then I'm going to cut out the ones that aren't good packs. So it just looks like I just called it. Bradley Beal, Harrison Barnes, Avery Bradley, Danilo Gallinari, Anthony Davis, and James Harden. Will Barton, Mark Gasol, Spencer Dinwiddie, Bradley Beal. Oh man, I thought thought that was gonna be a tray. So the tray looks just like this, pretty much. Drogic had a great year for the Heat last year. Too bad he wasn't healthy for the finals. Got Kemba Walker on the Hornets. Man, every time I see that Hawks symbol right there. Jeremy Lin. There we go. There's our tray. Let's go. Alright, so centering looks a little off. Uh, right to left and top to bottom. Uh, back centering actually. No, it's, it's off. Same thing. Sleeve this thing up. A little last sticker in a big ass penny sleeve. We'll place that right there. I'm actually getting an order ready for PSA right now and so that's gonna go out today I'll get another video out video out on what I'm sending over there I've got it's gonna be my biggest order I've got three orders right now at PSA and two of them are at stage one and one of them is at stage four And if you haven't seen my video about how I did a bulk submission just myself and PSA got my cards back in five fudging weeks. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Back to back. Back to back packs. Luca. And that one looks pretty damn good right there too. Left to right centering. Top to bottom. I mean, damn, that looks good. Yet. It's not a huge hit. I mean, uh, in a PSA, I think I was looking it up, and I think a Luca in a PSA 8. I'll, I'll post the price right here. Bah! But damn, that was a good pack right there. There we go. So this looks pretty damn good. You got a little something going on that top right corner. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I'll take a look at it. This right here pays for all of these cards. I'll have to submit it. It'll take a while to get back. But everything else, we're in the profit now. So as I was saying before Luca grabbed all my attention, I sent an order to PSA on the typical like get your cards back in nine months thing. And they got me my cards back in five weeks. Five weeks. Five freaking weeks. I got them back like on December 23rd, so right before Christmas. It was a freaking Christmas present to me. Five freaking weeks, guys. I posted a video. I'll leave a, a link right here. Pow. I think that's where it goes, right there in the corner. My goodness. All right. James Harden, Hayward, Frank Powell, head coach, Andre Drummond, Got Andre Drummond on my fantasy team, and he's actually balling on fantasy. You guys play fantasy basketball? It's my first year. No, I did it last year, but the season ended. You know, it got cut short. So this is my real first year doing it. And I'm used to fantasy football, but fantasy basketball is a whole whole different breed here. It's a lot harder. 
It's a lot harder than fantasy football, and I can't even imagine fantasy baseball. Josh Henson, Lori Markinen, Josh Richardson, Drew Holiday, head coach, and there we go, Jaron Jackson Jr. rookie. That's pretty nice. We'll give that bad boy a little sleeve. I like Triple J. I think uh, I think he's good for the hobby. You know, the knock on him is he doesn't rebound. But if you are a big man and you shoot a three, the sports card market likes you. That's all you got to do. Just got to shoot threes. He's with Jaw too. So you got two young dudes on that same team. And then you got Brooks on there. I think they're I think they're a pretty good team if they can just get Triple J back. Anthony Davis, Eric Gordon, Suns, Kemba Walker, and a little Tony Parker. Nice. I actually went to a Lakers game and Tony Parker was there. This was the this last year before everything got shut down. Dude, this guy was like a fucking superstar there. Like hanging out with celebrities, like Everybody was all about Tony Parker. He's a pretty big guy, too. Like, you, you see him on court, and you're like, he looks like a tiny human. But then you see him in real life, and it's like, oh, geez, he's like, I don't know, probably like 6'3 or something. But Terry Rozier, Westbrook, De'Aaron Fox, Cephalosha. And another Dirk. Wesley Matthews. Justin Holiday. I think he's the... Uh, no, he's the middle Holiday brother. Talk about a dynamic family. You got three brothers in the NBA. Golly, imagine what that was like growing up. And Anthony Davis. There we go. I like me some Anthony Davis. I got one of his rookie cards that I'm sending over to PSA right now, too. I cracked that one out of a... What did I crack that out of? A BGS case. So that's another video that's going to be coming out pretty soon. I'm trying to upload that one right now. But I cracked like 13 slabs. And Anthony Davis rookie was one of them. It was a BGS 9. And it was just for shits and gigs. See what happens. Um, but I'm trying to cross it over to PSA. I just like PSA better right now. And for something a little bit more liquid. I feel like the BGS 9s don't get a lot of love. But a PSA 9 will get way more love. So that's what I'm going for. Contavious Caldwell Pope. Brandon Ingram for the Lakers. There we go. God, that dude is long. Those long ass arms. From Duke University. CJ McCollum. Harrison Barnes, Dennis Smith Jr., and Nicholas Batoon. Jeremy Lamb, head coach, two head coaches, come on now, and a Paul George. Are they going to give us two jerseys and two head coaches? And then a fucking Jeremy Lamb. Paul George. This must be a fire pack right here after that little shit storm. Imagine if you just bought one pack and that was your pack right there. <laughs> You'd never buy this stuff again. And then on the flip side, imagine if you bought one pack and you get a Luca. Reggie Bullock. Orlando Magic. Little Jason Tatum second year from Duke University. A little stoned out Steph right there. Zoned out Steph is what I meant to say. And another Anthony Davis. So two packs to go in this one. So we're 12 packs away. Bradley Beal. Mr. Dwayne Wade. And you see that card there. Oh, and we got another rookie, Jaron Jackson. Nursik. And there we go. We got the Trey Young. Nice. So two trays and two Lucas. One sticker, one card of each. 
All right, I'm feeling pretty good right now. It's not the greatest card. It's got a little, that corner down there is a little soft. I don't know if you can see it. But I don't even know what these cards go for here. But the other reason you want to get, I mentioned that you want to get just the, um, the sealed packs, not like an individual one. Because these things are so flimsy. Like, people that are selling these, are, you know, you don't know how they're taking care of them. But if they're in that sealed plastic case, they're just protected a lot more. Julius Randle, Tobias Harris, John Collins, Kings, Markkinen, and Dame Lillard. Sorry everyone, we had a little technical difficulty. These were our hits here. So we got Wendell Carter Jr., rookie card, DeAndre Ayton, Colin Sexton, Mo Bamba, Marvin Bagley. We got two of the Jaron Jacksons, and then two Jaron Jackson stickers. Giannis, Braun, Trey Young sticker, Trey Young card, another Trey Young card, and then Luca sticker, Luca card. And I'm going to leave you with this, Mr. Kobe Bryant. And I'll put this right here. These are a couple of my favorite moments from Kobe's career. The Lakers, because of this man, Kobe Bryant, can take over. Oh, oh. 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 Dwight Howard. Oh, <laughs> As Deshaun Stevenson. Why is Mark, Matt Barnes doing that? It doesn't make any sense to me. Unless he thinks he can entice Kobe Bryant to get thrown out. <laughs> Either that or there's no way he's going to intimidate. You know, look, I always try to outwork people, right? That's just how I made my mark. So the game was at seven. I was like, you know what? I'm going to come to the Staples Center because we we're playing. This one, the Lakers had Kobe and Shaq. Okay, this is, this is like the championship Lakers. So, you know, I'm going to get there at 3 o'clock. I want to make sure I make 400 made shots before I go back into the room and then I sit in the sauna and I get ready for the game. Who do I see? I see Kobe Bryant already working out. So once I set my foot across that line, I start working out. And so I worked out for a good hour, hour and a half. And when I came off after I was done, I sat down. And of course, I still heard the ball bouncing. I look down, I'm like, this guy's, this guy's still working out? So he was working out like it looks like he was in a dead sweat when I got here and he's still going and it's not like his moves are nonchalant <laughs> lazy he's doing like game moves you know um, I sit there and I unlace my shoes I'm like I want to see how long this goes so I sit out there and watch another 25 minutes and he got done he said okay I think I've seen enough go play you know come back get in the sauna get ready for the game that game he drops 40 on us okay and after the game is over, I'm like, I, I have to ask this guy. Like, I, I have to understand, like, why, why he, he works like that. Right. So after the game is over, I'm like, hey, Cove, like, why, why were you in the gym for so long? He's like, because I saw you come in. <laughs> and, I, and I wanted you to know that it doesn't matter how hard you work, that I'm willing to work harder than you. Wow. You just, you inspire me to be better. And it was the first time I started to see this level of competitiveness where I said, If you like this video, all you got to do, smash that like button. Really helps me out. And until the next video, stay safe, get some good cards, and I'm out. <laughs> if you like this, oh, fuck. It's so